Hello, welcome. This is Einstein Muki. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, the link is right below. You click that link and you're over to my blog. And if you're already watching on my blog, you're welcome. As a matter of fact, in this video, I want to try to propose a solution to uh, those of us that are uh, mobile phone users and WhatsApp users to be more specific. Uh, we have this quite embarrassing error message that keeps coming up, especially if you want to start WhatsApp for your very first time on your new phone. You have this embarrassing message that tells you that uh, your date is inaccurate. And I know that uh, before coming here, you must have tried to correct your date several times and the solution is not forthcoming. Uh, that is quite embarrassing because um, it's a simple solution. It's a simple problem with a simple solution. Uh, it looks quite difficult but uh, as I'm going to propose here you're going to find out that the solution is, is quite simple now if you're on Android or on Tizen for Samsung right uh, those of you on Tizen uh, right below the blog post on my blog if you're on my blog it is right below there is a simple step I've proposed for you to get the latest version of, of, um, of uh, WhatsApp right now, getting the latest version of WhatsApp doesn't really solve the problem, okay, excuse me. Getting the latest version of WhatsApp doesn't solve the problem, all right? If you get the latest version of WhatsApp, you have to update. You have to make sure you update because I've had so many of my readers who tell me, well, they have had the latest version, yet the problem is persistent. Now, if, you have, if you've had the latest version, you make sure you update, all right? Now, if you're on Android, what you have to do is to go to uh, Play Store, okay? Now you go to Play Store here, and Play Store is going to tell you whether or not you are running the latest version. Now, uh, in my case here, I have the two buttons on install and open because I'm already running the latest version of WhatsApp. So in, in your case, if you're not running the latest version of WhatsApp, what, you, uh, what you're going to see are, uh, the buttons on install and update right in the place of open you're going to have update so what i propose you do is to hit the update button right and make sure you update the latest version of whatsapp once that is done you should restart the application. now you can see whatsapp signaling telling you that uh, I'm running, actually running the latest version and I don't have that uh, that problem. So if you update and it still doesn't, wow, 5%, I'll have to rush to, <laughs> to the power socket. All right, now if you update and you're still having that problem, what I propose you do is you completely get rid of WhatsApp, all right, by going to uh, the, the, the settings page here and what we're going to do is to go to a list of uh, applications that are running or uh, that are already installed and actually get read on install WhatsApp. Okay, you have here uh, apps. Okay, uh, let's let's locate WhatsApp. It should be here. And that's WhatsApp. So what you should do is to completely uninstall WhatsApp. Once that is done, you should go back to Play Store and install WhatsApp. And that's not all. After getting the recent, the, the most recent version, you have to update that version, right? You have to Sorry about that um, Twitter alert. You have to make sure you update that latest version in order to have this problem solved. So if you're on YouTube, again, uh, the link is right below. You hit that link and you go over to my blog. And if you're already on my blog, just drop a comment below. Let me know uh, what you think. So thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.